Hello everyone. Welcome to the channel. Ex-husband cheated and left me for his 18-year-old assistant, then tried crawling back to me after 17 years. I, 49 female, had an ex-husband named Jake, 53 male. We have three kids, Kyle 18 female, Carter 21 male, and Knox 25 male. When I was pregnant with Kyle he was cheating on me with his assistant Abigail. She was an 18-year-old freshman in college at the time, she got pregnant with Lizzie a year later. When I wouldn't take him back, we got a divorce and he married her. He then had two more kids with her. He paid child support, but that was it and only see them once a month. However, if one of the kids asked him for something he'll agree to get it, but wouldn't answer the kids' phone calls until he figured I had gotten what they needed. He wouldn't show up to any of the kids' sports games or plays, but if his aunts and mom would go then he would be them. His aunts and mom are big-time lawyers, and he needs their approval. His family is somewhat shallow. If someone isn't in a prestigious position, then they'll look down upon them. And any form of gossip is seen as negative, and they'll yell at you for making the family look bad. So, in front of them Jake would brag about everything he does for the kids when in reality he does nothing. He's however my kids see their family vacations, and at first it hurt them, but they began to ignore it. He told them it was because I take them on two vacations every year and Lizzie only gets one. He just tells his family it was because the kids didn't want to go. However, during the Christmas party, Lizzie was talking to her great aunts about the upcoming trip to the Dominican Republic. Kyle then asked what they were talking about. She explained how the family was taking a trip and that their dad said they had other plans. Kyle explained how she had no plans and neither did her brother so they'll love to come. Here's where the problems start. My kids being that far away with their dad never sat right with me. So, I went with them on vacation. His wife wasn't happy but me and his family are still close so it wasn't weird. So, at a dinner my daughter and Carter go to a very prestigious college, and my oldest is in medical school. So, his mom asked what's happening with all the kids. My daughter then explains how she was chosen for an internship for a tech company, and everyone congratulated her. His mom then asked about Lizzie. My daughter told me that Lizzie has been bragging about a secret, and everyone thinks that she got into her dream college, so his mom was smiling ear to ear waiting to congratulate her. But Lizzie explains that she's pregnant. Everyone's face fell to the floor including Jake's. Everyone began to question Jake and Abigail's parenting. Jake then said that it was all on Lizzie because he parenting was a result of my children's success. I was tired of the lies and explained how he was never there unless his family was there in order to look good in front of them. They then asked if that was true, and he tried to lie saying of course, not then Kyle chimed in saying that he hadn't even invited them to this vacation, and that he lies about everything and he's a shitty dad. Kyle stormed off and me and my sons ran after her. Later I got a text from Jake, thanking me for ruining his family. I didn't text him back. I do feel bad because it probably wasn't the time or place. Ada has no consensus NTA based on the comments. Top comments. Careless underscore league underscore 9A494 NTA. If he wasn't such a shitty person, there would be nothing bad to say about him. It's always wild to me when people blame other people for the consequences of their actions and refusing to lie for them still underscore actuator underscore 8 in 316 NTA he dug his own pit and stepped in it update. February 23, 2024. First thing I want to answer is why did I feel the need to go with my kids? I'm best friends with his sister and have been going on trips with them since I was in high school. And I'm always a mom so I'll never deliberately put my kids in a situation where I can't get to them. So, after the situation escalated, I got a call from his wife saying that she couldn't find my husband and that he better not be in my room. I told her he wasn't and she hung up. I then heard a knock on my door. I opened it up and Abigail barged into my room screaming that she he was in there. I let her look because I was confused as to what was happening. When she couldn't find him, she just sat on my floor silently crying. The situation was very awkward so I didn't know what to do and kicking her out didn't seem right so I just asked what was wrong. She explained that over the past 17 years Jake has been verbally abusive and claiming that she and Lizzie ruined his happiness. When she was 18 Jake promised that he would leave me for her, but every time she asked when he would lash out at her. So, she got pregnant on purpose to trap him but Jake tried to pay her off to get rid of it. But when I found out and filed for divorce, he thought it was best to just go be with her.
but every day he would berate her and call her useless, and apparently, he was cheating on her constantly. She stayed because she dropped out of college and hadn't worked since she was at his office 18 years ago. She apologized for barging in and just left. I texted Jake that he might want to check on his wife because she seems unpredictable right now. I didn't get a text back so I assumed everything was okay. So, I just went to bed for the night. But the next morning I woke up with a really long text from Jake, so I'll just summarize what it says. He told me how sorry he was for stepping out on our marriage, and that was the biggest mistake he ever made. He wished he was more involved with me and the kids, and he hated seeing Lizzie and Abigail every day. He explained that's why he took on more hours so he could be away from them, and that subsequently affected our kids. He said Abigail explained how she told me everything, and that he was finally happy the truth was out so he could get away from them. He hoped that after all this time I could forgive him, and we could repair our relationship. I explained to him that we have no need for a relationship. I'm remarried, and the kids are grown, so he should focus on fixing their relationship. He didn't text back. I explained to my kids that I'm going to leave early, but they should enjoy the rest of their trip. Kyle didn't want to stay, but the boys were fine staying, so me and Kyle are back home. I texted the boys and asked them how the trip was going, and he explained that everything was a mess and Jake and Abigail weren't talking to each other. Top Comments Bordatham 1 and 962 NTA you didn't make him look bad. He did that all by himself. He's an ex for a reason, remember that, and keep it ex. Glittering underscore job underscore 7996 NTA. Your ex is terrible, and you dodged a massive bullet. Absolutely insane that he really thought you'd forgive him after all of this, he's absolutely vile. He's living in his karma after learning that the grass is in fact not greener. I feel bad for his wife, but if they do it with you, they'll do it to you. Happy that you've healed and moved on. Thank you for watching this video. Take care everyone.